Welcome Geminis and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 30th of August through to Sunday the 5th of September 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side will be your crowning wisdom message cards. So Geminis we're going to jump straight in and see what your overarching crowning message is for the week ahead. Thank you. First card out is friendship. Um, Gemini, just to let you know, when I was doing your pre-shuffle, your advice cards, um, Ocean came out um, and that kind of really stuck with me. Thank you. Second message is contemplation. With that Ocean card, it's all about being free. It's all about... Um, engaging with your freedom your uh, flow to just um yeah not get so caught up in your mind just be free and allow the mystery of yourself of um, what's in front of you um to just unfold naturally organically in 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 timing in perfect timing and look at that We've got letting go and discernment. Um, so for your crowning messages, we have friendship. We have contemplation. We have letting go. And we have discernment. So it's interesting, um, Gemini's, I didn't even like uh, do my normal um, sort of kind of go through uh, with the cards um, my normal sayings that I do sort of my mini little prayers um, and it's it's interesting because I've done the pre pre meditation pre blessing um, and that card of ocean that came out um, I feel that you're being guided to be just to be free to be yourself many of you i feel as if you are in a period of a lot of thinking at the moment um somebody may have friend zoned you or whoever you really connected quite deeply um may have shut down um any kind of romantic advances um and they may have just said to you that they just want to be friends okay i feel as if you're thinking about it quite a lot um, a bit caught up in your mind and I feel that you're being guided to let that go all right uh, look at the detail look at the detail of what they're saying and with that ocean card that came out as your um in your pre-shuffle um, I almost feel as if you're being guided to just go with the flow with this, go with the flow with the friendship because do you know something um let go any kind of romantic um, expectations is what I want to say, because you just don't know uh, what is going to be around the corner with this person. And that's why I feel you're being guided to be almost in the present, be free, be, you know, mysterious um, and allow the friendship to just flow between the two of you. And I feel that this discernment is about if you look at the detail um, as you go along this week, you may actually discover that it may turn in a different direction so whoever you are connecting to if they are really quite gung-ho on um just pursuing a friendship with you all right um they may have shut that down any kind of romantic advances i have kind of got the feeling um that divine spirit universe may change things so i suppose really the 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 message that I'm really getting here is kind of don't get caught up in the the technicality the detail of this person saying they just want to be friends okay let that go because actually when you go through the week or the coming weeks or as we go into September it's almost like you'll start to see something very, very different, yeah? So that's why right now, be in the present, be free, allow the friendship to just unfold naturally, all right? My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me your crowning wisdom messages? To the question, how does the soulmates of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel to thank you? Wow, 
Okay, unmarked trail, revelation. Oh my goodness gracious me. Isn't that interesting? Because what I'm picking up from this card is that actually the path that you're going on is going to be a revelation. What did I just say about um, looking at the detail? Let go right here, right now. If this person has said to you, look, you know what, Gemini, let's just be friends. Because there's going to be a revelation if you just allow yourself, like that ocean card, to just be free and just allow a bit of mysterious within yourself, you know, um, and just l let the, the, the friendship um, unfold. And actually, the revelation that I feel that's going to come towards is that guess what, you're, you're building bricks, you're building a foundation around you and this person and your heart. The green representing that heart chakra. And guess what? Look at this. This is so beautiful. Benefactor. I feel as if the two of you are actually um, like uh, deep soulmates. All right. Um, it feels as if you both do feel like home. This person may not have woken up to that realization yet. That revelation is going to come. That's why it's so important, uh, Gemini, right here, right now, for you to just go with the flow and add a bit of mysterious to a mystery to um, to yourself as well. You know, um, don't get so hung up if this person isn't um, being too uh, forthright or they have closed down any kind of romantic advances, because what you're actually doing is you're building something. All right. That's quite amazing how that's come out. I do love it when my team does that. They just kind of talk through me and it just kind of all makes sense as the cards come out. And one more card, please. I'm. They're telling me we don't need any more. Okay, fine, no problem. All right, so Geminis, if this message is resonating for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push the video out to other Geminis, but also it helps and enables you to get notifications if you subscribe of when I'm uploading new messages. So thank you in advance um, because it does support the channel. Also as well, um, existing subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement, donations. I am truly, truly, truly grateful. And I really, really hope that you get a useful and meaningful message out of this week's reading, which sounds as if it's going to be quite exciting. All right, let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does this soulmates of Gemini, sun, moon, rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 30th of August through to Sunday the 5th of September 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Gemini that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below, and all around me. Thank you. All right, let's do this. All right, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me? Thank you. So, um, yeah, I feel as if with that Queen of Swords, I feel as if... Um, whoever you are connecting with, I feel as if they are wanting you to let go, to cut out this concept of um, a romantic connection with them. And I do feel as if that is what your team is coming in to advise you to do, all right, with this connection, because I feel that the detail is that it's not going to be a friendship for long. There is going to be a revelation. And I do feel that the two of you will actually come into union. But it almost feels as if you need to allow divine timing to happen in its in its own timing. Because divine timing is always perfect. And I do feel as if by you applying um, grace in the situation is what is going to help move this connection along but guess what 
with the um, Eight of Swords coming up here, I do feel as if this person is going to be really thinking, looking at the detail of you possibly pulling back your energy slightly with regards to any kind of romance um, messages or engagement with them. Um, it's It's almost as if they want you to pull back and let go of any concept of anything romantic happening with the two of you. But it almost feels as if Gemini, as you do do that, they're going to be looking at the detail, almost overanalyzing, um, have they made the right choice? And I feel as if that, that discernment is what's coming upon them. Look at, remember what I said, that revelation is going to come later on down the line. Thank you. And oh, OK, so this card was at the top here. Um, I feel as if um, with the four of cups, the two of you are going to be thinking about each other quite a lot. They're going to be thinking about you. All right. I feel as if um, when they do say to you, you know what, Gemini, you know, it ain't going to happen with regards to anything romantic between us. The discernment's going to come in is that they're going to really be thinking about it. All right. They may go through a bit of a period of maybe engaging with other people, but they're going to realize quite quickly um, that they aren't you. They are just simply not you. Hence why they're going to be thinking of you. And I feel that this is their energy coming in to fight for the connection when they are when they have this almost revelation. OK, that uh, these people uh, don't fulfill them. They don't. They're not you, basically. Thank you. And look at that. I feel that this is their, their energy is all over your cards, um, Gemini. I feel as if this person um, either is going to fight for this connection or this actually could be your energy, male or female. You could have Pisces in your chart or they could have Pisces in their chart. But I feel as if they know uh, that you have unconditional love for them. But it also could represent they're fighting for you because they have unconditional love for you. But we'll see what your clarifiers um tell us wow what a story all right let's clarify straight off the bat my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you clarify how thank you so okay so i feel as if as this person sees you cutting them out letting go which is what they had a discussion they're going to have a discussion swords are all about communication they're going to have a discussion about that i feel as if they're going to want a new beginning all right they're going to want a new beginning after you do actually let go so i feel gemini it's really really important that you let go any kind of um, expectation almost yeah deal with this with grace okay grace and generosity still give to this connection in terms of a friendship but respect their wishes um, if they are coming towards you and letting you know that they don't want to pursue something romantic okay as you do that this is where um a revelation is going to be uh, revealed on a, a, a trail that is unmarked. It hasn't happened yet. And as they realize that you've pulled back your energy, you have let go any kind of romantic expectation, they're going to want a new beginning. All right. Because I feel as if they realize that they've hurt themselves by not even entertaining the idea of a romantic connection. And the Eight of Swords, look at that, the Eight of Swords, clarifying the Eight of Swords. This person's gonna be all up in their head, Gemini. It almost feels as if you don't need to do anything but gracefully step back, yeah? Because they're gonna come to the conclusion um, that they, they communicated uh, something that when they look at the detail, the other people that are perhaps interested in them aren't you. Yeah, look at that. I feel as if they're going to look at the detail because guess what? You walked away. 
you're going to walk away. You're going to walk away because guess what? That's what they told you. And I feel that they're going to be um, really contemplating putting this relationship in a friend, quote unquote, friend zone. And they're going to see you walking away. Yeah. And I feel as if it's going to really bug them. It's going to really bug them. They may get signs, synchronicities in their dreams. And that's what's going to really get them really thinking. Like, why, why did I say to Gemini, don't expect, you know, anything romantic? And that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to walk away. Six of Pentacles, I feel as if that this person now is going to want to come in and um, balance out this connection and start giving. What did I just say? When they're sleeping, it feels as if they're going to get signs, synchronicities, messages from those birds, those angels, fairies coming in. That's their spirit team saying, prompt, prompting them, poking them, saying, what are you doing? What are you doing? And this is going to be the revelation and I feel that is what's going to trigger them to really think about you because other people that are interested in them um, aren't going to, they're just not going to be you. It's like they've outgrown it, outgrown the attention. And with that six of pentacles, they know they need to balance something out and give to this connection because you're going to walk away. Whoops. Thank you. And look at that. As they come in to fight for this connection, because they know that you are the one, okay, that they want to pursue a romantic connection, here comes the nine of wands. They're surrendering to this connection, coming in with communication. And look at that, swift communication. It's going to be something really unexpected coming towards you. Because I feel as if they see you as long-term commitment, marriage material now. And here's your energy. The Queen of Wands. This person realises that you have got nothing but love for them. And where you've pulled back your energy, you've taken action to pull back your energy. That is where, look at that, the Seven of Pentacles. They are realising that they want to build a future with you. Because guess what? There's only one cup that this person is holding and it is for you. So I feel that this is their energy. I was right in the beginning. They only have this love for you. You are somebody that they see as passionate, free-spirited, independent. And somebody that they want to uh, have a future with. Possibly have a family. They want to put in the work. It feels as if, um, and it goes back to that ocean um, cards that came out in your in your um, pre-shuffle, Gemini's. It's like by you um, dealing with uh, this situation with grace, taking the action to be your free-spirited, independent self. That ocean card is all about be wild, be free, be in yourself. Do you? Because this person is going to have a massive revelation around their heart. And as you continue to just focus on the quote unquote friend zone that they've put you in, um, that is going to, um, it's going to build. It's something is just not going to sit right with them. And they're going to go through a lot of kind of mental torture discernment, really looking at the detail. Um, because guess what? They told you to let them go. Let go any kind of um, idea of this connection moving in a romantic um, union. And guess what? That's exactly what you're going to do. But I feel that you're being guided to just do you. Be your free, independent, spirited self. You know, love, be love. Be a bit mysterious as well, okay? Um, still communicate with this person on the quote-unquote friend zone front, and uh, I feel as if they're going to have a massive revelation. And the two of you, I feel, um, I feel that this is going to take a bit longer than a week, maybe going more into like mid-September I'm picking up. Oh, for many of you, it might be the 
third um third of september could possibly be when um the transformation is going to happen okay thank you all right that's when the transformation is going to happen and it almost feels as if you're both going to be pulled together and thereafter that's where you're going to start building this unmarked trail around this person's heart around your heart that's when the revelation is going to happen but it almost feels as if the 3rd of September is going to be that trigger point of when this person is going to go through all of this kind of discernment looking at the detail like why did I say to Gemini um why did I put Gemini in that friend zone they walked away even though we're talking it's not the same that's why they're thinking about it. You're going to be thinking about them as well. But I do feel that you're being guided to kind of just with grace, step back and allow divine spirit universe, your higher selves to mold and orchestrate and get things in motion for this person uh, to apply some discernment over what they are saying to you, i.e. putting you in that friend zone. Ah. wow all right let's have a look at your advice my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your advice messages for the collective of gem thank you first breathe break from beneath the water surface and soar up beyond the turquoise sea this is where you're going into a lot of contemplation and that's where you've got to let things go breathe be your free spirited self and um, gemini's with a bit of wildness a bit of um mysteriousness about you just do you all right because this person's going to come around and we have recharged there's nothing like a walk on the beach to soothe your soul so as you contemplate try and get out of that energy keep your vibration up do you recharge take that long walk on the beach maybe swim in the ocean if you're near the ocean um and just do you all right and just know that your spirit team thank you have got um they have got your back on this and then we've got a bonus and your final message rescue help others in need or ask for assistance when you need it i feel as if um you may um I feel as if you're being guided to reach out to your spirit team to just take control. Allow Divine Spirit Universe to uh, drive the steering wheel on this situation and travel. See the surface of the ocean is not as... Sorry, let me read that again. Seeing the surface of the ocean is not the same as diving deep to see the coral. This is the discernment that I feel that you're being guided to apply, all right? Travel that road of um, discernment, of looking at the detail, of reading in between the lines and looking at the spiritual connection that you have with this person. This person and you, this almost feels like a little bit like a twin flame ultimate soulmate. I feel that you almost need to just trust, go deep, go deep and trust the spiritual connection between the two of you. All right. Many of you may ask for guidance. I feel that you're being guided to call upon your spirit team to rescue this situation, to help this person wake up and see um, that there is more than just a friendship going on here. And I feel that your prayers, your affirmations, your manifestations, your meditation, it will it will reap the rewards because I feel that this unmarked trail hasn't happened yet. You're in the process of building. Everything happens in divine timing. There will be a massive revelation for this person. So just trust the process, uh, Gemini. Really beautiful reading, actually. I'm going to leave that there for you. If it does resonate, please feel free to click that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.